Hey there, and welcome back to another video about studying linguistics. Today I want to talk about a question that I get asked a lot, namely, can I come and study with you? And the good news is that yes, of course, you can. And in fact, I'd be excited to have you among my students. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I work at the University of Neuchâtel, which is a small public university in the French-speaking part of Switzerland. I'm part of the English department, that is, I teach courses in English linguistics. And if you are currently thinking about doing either a bachelor or a master with a focus on English linguistics, stick around because in this video I'll give you all the basic info about studying English linguistics with me at the University of Neuchâtel. If you're ready, then let's go! This video is going to have four parts. Uh, first of all, I'll give you a brief tour of the university and I'll present it to you. I'll let you know what makes it special and I'll explain what might make it the right choice uh, for you. The second part is for all of you who are already studying for a bachelor's degree and considering a master's program for the next step. In the third part, we'll be talking about bachelor. So the basic course of study that you can take once you have a high school diploma that lets you enter university. In the fourth part, I'll talk about yet another option, namely coming to Neuchâtel for a semester or two as an exchange student. If you're in a hurry, you can jump directly to the sections that are most relevant for you. Uh, if you have the time, I suggest that you watch the whole thing because I'll have useful tips and pieces of info throughout the video. And for everything I say, you'll find all the relevant web links in the info box below. And if there are any questions that the video doesn't address, well, put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. Of course, you can also just email me if you have a specific question about your personal situation. All right, let's get started. So why should you come over here and study at the University of Neuchâtel? Before I say anything more, full disclosure, I'm being paid by the university. I've been working here for more than 10 years and uh, I just love the place. So I'll try and be as objective as possible, but keep this in mind. All right, with that out of the way, uh, each year when I welcome the new cohort of students in my Intro to Linguistics class, I wish them a warm welcome to the coolest department at the greatest university in Switzerland. So they usually think I'm joking, but actually the thing is that that's the one time when I'm perfectly serious. So let's get the obvious point out of the way. Uh, the humanities faculty where I work is right at the lake. There's a beach and if you look across the lake you see the Alps. Uh, there's a lot of natural beauty all around the area and the Swiss quality of life really speaks for itself. Neuchâtel is half an hour away from the capital city of Bern and you can take the train to cities like Lausanne or Geneva in just about an hour. Are there other things you can do after classes and on weekends? Oh yeah, tons of stuff. The university itself has about 4,500 students. That is, classes are usually small and there's a great ratio of professors to students. At the humanities faculty where I teach, uh, you can choose between about 25 bachelor degrees and 10 or so master's degrees. And there are three other faculties where you can study science, economics, or law. To address another important issue right away, uh, what are the tuition fees? I put a link in the info box below. So for Swiss citizens in 2022, uh, tuition fees are just above 500 Swiss francs per semester. And for all other nationalities, it's about 800 Swiss francs per semester. If you have never been to Switzerland, uh, one thing you may have heard is that the costs of living are high. That is absolutely true. So things like rent or groceries or public transport are pretty expensive. Um, still, I want to qualify that point just a little bit. So uh, healthcare, for example, is excellent and it is affordable. Still, 
Many of my students have jobs on the side to finance their studies because stipends and scholarships are not that easy to come by. If you want to take a look for yourself, I put relevant links in the info box below. Another thing you need to know about the university and about Neuchâtel in general is that we're in the French-speaking part of Switzerland. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, oh my god, I don't speak French, how am I going to get by? Well, let me turn that question around. So coming here will give you the opportunity to learn French and thus acquire a very useful new skill. For members of the university community, there are free language courses that you can follow every day at lunchtime. And uh, there are also intensive courses every summer where you can spend two weeks to give your French a real boost. As always, links in the info box. Now, just to clarify, in all of my classes, uh, the language of instruction is English. And uh, there are, in fact, many courses of study particularly at the master level, where all the classes you need are given in English. I'll come back to that in just a minute. One more practical point about living in Neuchâtel. The city is walkable and you can get around pretty easily with public transport. You can also take a bike if you don't mind the hills, but that's a bit sportive. As far as finding a place to stay, I put a link below that lets you check out student accommodation. Anything else? Well, yeah. So there's a slogan that we have that says that we're a university at human scale. And what that means is that when you come here, you'll get to know your professors, you'll get to know your classmates and all the people who keep this place running, for example, in the libraries and in the admin offices. And um, then, just so I don't forget, the University of Neuchâtel is also doing pretty well in the Times Higher Education rankings, specifically in categories that have to do with teaching, with sustainability, and with international outlook. If you're interested in all that, you know, uh, everything in the info box below. All right, I think you have a general impression. Let's get into the details. My YouTube statistics tell me that most of you who are watching this video are between 18 and 24 years old. So I'm guessing that many of you are currently studying for a bachelor. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think this is more or less accurate. Uh, so if you're doing a BA and you're thinking of studying with me in order to get a master's, there are two different options. And the first option is the Master in Language Sciences. It's a linguistics program that has either 60 or 90 ECTS, so 60 or 90 uh, credits, and it usually takes three semesters to complete. It has different orientations, uh, with English linguistics being one of these orientations. So it starts with a basic module of 10 ECTS that is obligatory and that's common to all the orientations. And in that module, you'll take, for example, a research methods class with me, where we talk about corpus data, we talk about doing linguistics with R and running linguistic experiments. After that module, if you pick the orientation in English linguistics, you're actually free to take any and all linguistics classes that are on offer in the English department. Um, then the final part of the program is, of course, writing a master's thesis. Uh, the master's thesis is worth uh, 30 ECTS. And with regard to the thesis, you're absolutely free to pick a topic that really interests you and I'll try and support you in your project, reading drafts and giving you input as needed. Uh, you'll find a link to the full study plan in the info box below. Okay, so if you'd like to apply for that master, what do you need? Um, the most important thing you need is a bachelor's degree in linguistics or in a related discipline. So if you have a BA in English, that's perfect. Yeah? If you have a BA in psychology or in cognitive science with a language component in it, well, that's great as well. If you have done a BA with relatively little linguistics 
it's still possible to be admitted into the program uh, on the condition that you take a number of credits in linguistics as a preparation for that master. Yeah? So that can be done in the first or second semester of your master's study. So you can apply and then do these courses and begin your master at the same time. It's not a problem. For more detailed info, you can check out the admissions website. Uh, you'll find the link below. One important question, do you need French language skills in order to be admitted to the master? The answer is no, not necessarily. So there is no formal requirement. Uh, the initial module does have courses that are offered in French, but for those courses, alternatives in English can be arranged. Right, so that was the first option for the master. I mentioned that there was a second option and uh, that would be a master in cognitive science. The university has a really cool master in cognitive science that has elements of social cognition, cognitive psychology, animal cognition, and philosophy of mind. And uh, that is a program that has 120 ECTS. So it'll usually take two years to complete. All courses in that program are offered in English. Uh, so that's a bonus. And uh, if you take that master, uh, you'll take fewer classes with me than in the linguistics program, but uh, you'll be able to do a 30 ECTS research internship with me. And of course, you'll also have the opportunity to write your master's thesis under my supervision. And the admission process works in exactly the same way that I described for the master in linguistics. Okay, now let's talk about doing a bachelor. Yeah? So if you're not yet studying at university, what do you need in order to apply for a bachelor degree in English? What's the admission, admission procedure? Uh, to be eligible to apply for a bachelor program, you need a high school diploma that lets you enter university. And depending on the country that you're living in, there may be a minimum grade that is necessary. Also, if your schooling was not in French, uh, you will need to take a language test at the University of Neuchâtel that confirms that your language skills are sufficient for following university level classes in French corresponding to the uh, European reference level B2 link in the description below. So students that can demonstrate that level right away, they can still be admitted, but they have to take language classes in order to catch up during the first year of the bachelor. So um, yeah, the um, <clears throat> idea is that you'll be able to speak French and function in French after the first year. In order to study with me at the bachelor level, what you need to sign up for is a bachelor in humanities. That is a course of study that takes three years to complete. Uh, it's organized in a way that is compatible with similar studies all over Europe. And uh, that means you need to earn 180 ECTS credits over six semesters with approximately 30 credits in each semester. And in order to get those credits, you need to choose at least two subjects. So English can be one of them, but you need a second subject. Depending on your preference, you can take 60 credits, 90 credits, or even 120 credits in the English program. And that leaves, well, 60 or uh, 90 for the, remain for the second subject. Uh, in the info box below, I put a link to the study plan of the bachelor program in English. The program has different parts that represent linguistics, literature, and also practical language classes. Uh, there are a number of classes that are obligatory, but depending on your preferences, you can actually choose classes with topics that interest you, and you can decide how you want to balance literature and linguistics. If you take 120 credits of English, uh, that also includes the possibility of doing a research internship, a professional internship, or a language stay abroad. 
uh, in linguistics, seminar topics change from semester to semester. So I regularly teach classes on things like cognitive linguistics, sociolinguistics, first and second language acquisition, uh, psycholinguistics, bilingualism, and lots of other things, actually. Uh, you'll also find classes on pragmatics, discourse analysis, language and gender, and lots of other topics. Okay, I said that you need to pick at least two subjects for the 180 credits of the bachelor. That means if you take, for example, 120 credits in English, that leaves 60 credits for another subject, such as history, philosophy, geography, or sociology, yeah? depending on what interests you. Now, very importantly, for this other subject, you will need French language skills because the language of instruction in these disciplines is going to be French. Ideally, if you have a little French already, I would encourage you to do a two-week summer intensive course at the University of Neuchâtel before the semester starts. And that will not only boost your spoken language skills, but you'll also get to know people and you will do lots of fun activities with them. And you already have some friends around the place. Then when the semester starts, my advice would be to further ramp up your French skills by following some language courses and then gradually get into the academic seminars that you need to do for your second subject. It sounds like a lot, but Believe me, others have done it before you, and uh, I think you can do it as well. So I would really encourage you to give it a try. All right, what if you'd like to come to Neuchâtel for an exchange semester? How does that work? There are several different options. Um, if you're studying somewhere in Europe, uh, you can actually spend a semester in Neuchâtel with the Erasmus program that you maybe know. So the first step for you would be to contact the Erasmus coordinator at your home university, let them know that you would like to go on an exchange to Neuchâtel, and then fill out and hand in your application documents to them. Yeah? And you'll have to fill out a learning agreement that specifies which courses you would like to take in Neuchâtel and how these courses will be recognized and validated at your home university. The big advantage of organizing an exchange semester through the Erasmus program is that you will receive a financial contribution. You should ask the Erasmus coordinator at your university how high that contribution will be in your case. Yeah, it won't be enough to live on, but it will help. Yeah, it will probably be something on the order of 300 euros a month. Links to all relevant info, as always, in the description box below. Now, if my YouTube statistics are correct, many of you are watching this video from outside of Europe. Um, how does that work? Can you still apply for an exchange semester? The answer is yes, you can. Uh, the University of Neuchâtel accepts applications from exchange students that follow a course of study at universities anywhere in the world. Okay. What do you need to hand in uh, in terms of application materials? Uh, one thing you'll need is that uh, you'll have to provide a letter from your university that authorizes you to do an exchange semester. You'll also need proof of registration at your university and you also need a learning agreement. In the info box, you'll find a link to the web page that explains all the details and that has all the necessary forms and documents. All right, in summary, uh, organizing an exchange semester is a lot of work, but in the end, it is not that complicated. And I can assure you, it will be a great experience that really teaches you a lot. All right. I hope this video was useful for you. I'd be really, really happy to welcome you as one of my students in Neuchâtel. I know that navigating application materials and the procedures that you need to follow can be pretty intimidating. I actually still remember how I felt when I was applying to university. That was a bit scary. And uh, if I can help you in any way, or if you have comments or questions, 
put them in the comments below and I'll do my very best to put up links to all the information you need. All right, that's it for today. I hope to see you very soon. Bye.